as you can see, we are in the exhibition. We have certain limitations. Um, certain things cannot be shown. And certain things can be shown. And in the process, as you enter, you will come across the, mm, what we call the technology, which is based on the space and technology. The banners on the background shows what it is. Each section is covered by its own banner. And we show the extent of the knowledge in the space and defense technology. Some of the dignitaries who come, come to see the space defense technology. This is their main part and the technology on the other side. At the beginning, what we see is the, the most famous best reactor built in Iran. And then we see the babies of the technology and we go forward. And in that process, uh, we see the other part of it. Then we enter into the GAN systems where we'll see the GANS technology of the simple way which all of you have started it. And then we walk into what many of you have not seen. Uh, a massive collection of what we call GANSes. There are many GANSes here which you have never seen. And this is part of the package of technology of GANSes we show because the elaborate the stock of uh, GANSes in the Keshe Foundation head office is huge. We collect, we develop, mix them in different ways and um, there are things here which we don't even put in the public domain. The materials which create the space plasma fields at the radiation level of space, which I use for many of my researchers. We produce um, cosmic rays for a given condition. We produce organs in a combination of these um, ganses. On the table, there is some 24 combination, which gives you billions of combinations, depends how you use it. And we are, well, we call it educated to know how to use this. Some of these are one of the most rarest materials that man can get hold of, but we produce it for that business. Here you see in the background, you're getting a picture of the enhancement units. These are the, what we call the five reactors of all of you are making it. And in so many ways, we have the same in the other part as we come into it. And for the first time, we can show you the enhancement unit. This is the body enhancement unit, which many of you have been waiting for. It is in totality, it's beautiful. It covers everything man will need in a space to survive. It is, it is, as we said, you have the chair and you can see the chair which is there and what it's everything built to be. It has a beautiful structure, it works. This is a, one of the versions the other version is what we call a static, it's like an aircraft hangar. You just go in, it stays always locked because we get a better results, but the plasma reactors of it. As we walk across, you see the second unit. This is what we call the material unit, which creates every element man needs in the space. In so many ways, you can produce anything in this machine. As you can see, there is a similarity between the two. If you walk back a bit, here to this position, and you see the two systems next to each other, where you can cover the two, you will see the chair on the right hand side, and you see the sun on the left hand side. Inside the center is a Sun 
we have created, we have replicated a solar system. And inside, with a combination of different reactors, we produce what we need. On the right hand side, when you look, we have created another sun, the soul of the man. When you sit in that seat, in the dome of the system, you have parallel. If you understand the knowledge, you can do anything with it. On one side you see the sun, on one side you see the soul. That soul creates the body of the man, the sun creates the matters and the stars, and the moons and the planets. If you are in the universal galaxy system, or in the solar system, nothing has changed. Now you understand why man has become man of space. We feed the soul of the man, we feed the essence of the creation of the man, the same on the other side we feed the solar system, but the essence of creation, the sun, this is where the space technology has taken shape. This is where the space technology is complete. In so many ways, if you could change the structure of the sun inside, you become a flying system, the way the sun flies within the solar system. It's very simple. Each unit carries an embedment of its work. It says Universal Material Enhancement System Space Unit, the other one tells you, is as it's been built for the body of the man. In structure, if you followed all the teachings, nothing has changed. It's just understanding in which and what we want to do, what we want to achieve and to what extent, and to what purpose. You've been waiting for a long time for this. Now the systems are here. Massive numbers of it will be distributed around the world in the coming months. And most probably, on the right, you walk into any hospital, you will see like the X-ray machines and the MRI machines. And most probably by having these systems, there's no need for MRIs and other things. And then on the left, you see the change in the history of man. We mined, we destroyed the planet to mine the precious materials of it. Now we produce it from the rays of the fields of the sun. As I said, there are a lot of things from today changes, because up to now was a theory, could be done. We shown it in small pieces, now is a reality. Now is what we possess. It's possessed as a knowledge, it's possessed as equipment, is possessed as the data and the material which has been shown, and the world of science will change it will build what it needs, would China would have a hold on the rare earth materials anymore, that now we can even produce more rare earth than rare earth materials of the cosmos level in these machines. I promise one thing, and with that promise we change the course of humanity. We bring it, we change it, and in so many ways, with it, we bring new dimension. With it, we bring new understanding. With it, we change the course of humanity. Now, you've seen what you've been waiting for. And you've seen what mankind has been waiting to have a system that he can feed his life and he creates his physicality. And we have completed it. As we walk out, the arena, we will come to one point, and that is, the other things you've seen, the agricultural unit, which will change everything for us, even if we want to feed the physicality. You, you can take pictures of the back, take them. 
then <coughs> we've seen different materials in different uh, compositions. The, the what we call, you can produce any combination of materials you need using this unit at home, agricultural unit or whatever is to your advantage, whatever you need. This is again another hand made of Chinese Keshe Foundation, one of the most beautiful groups within the Keshe Foundation group. You have the standard CO2 unit, which you can capture for whatever you put in the atmosphere. You can clean up. We destroy the planet, we can clean up the planet. And as we can see, we can choose what we absorb and how we change. We see in the power unit of the Keshe Foundation, the Maghreb units, the, the, the Maghreb units and new power generation units will be shown in this exhibition in the coming weeks that what we told you, plasmatic magnetic field will be delivered in time that there's no need to generate power. Because you didn't understand, part of the technology of this Maghreb unit is used in the enhancement units. It's powered at sections we need with the technology. And then many of you at the moment have been struggling with what it is, one cup, one life. The cup of life and a cup of what we call for the body of the man that both been set in the true cups. It is a cup in essence and that's what it does. And more or less this is what we see as part of the exhibition, our new technology, and each one will change part of the course of the humanity. From where we started with the space, to nanomaterials, to new enhancement units, which the combination of the two units will become a spaceship and this in time will be taught. The new units will have the capability to fly, feed and do everything else at the same time on the wish of the soul of the man. Are there any questions? Well, first of all, congratulations, Mr. Cash. Beautiful presentation. And uh, it's a, actually a lovely area. The ceiling is perfect and it all reflects the space technology. It looks very clean and, uh, and a beautiful uh, exhibit there. Thank you. We are in the National Exhibition Center of the City of Linz. Thank you very much. We stop transmission and uh, with it we complete the whole process. Um, from now on <clears throat> our work carries on with the national government and those organizations who go into the space development. As I said, one of the first signatories this afternoon is the top two nations in space technology. They are requested to be here. And even they called this morning to confirm that the delegation coming and they expect to see the systems. And you don't need to guess much who the other one is. The world of the space technology changes because they see it in physicality. 